It's midsummer in the Rocky Mountains of Colorado. Oh man, it's terrible. It's getting real hard to feed this thing. It's all clogged up. And Team Turin are feeling the heat. You know, it tried to run more material, but uh, spit us in the God almighty. I'd want to run more feed. This plant can handle it. The hopper, I don't think can. We're gonna have to have a bigger hopper to run more material. Gonna have to. We're gonna have to have more water and a bigger hopper. All season, the hopper's grizzly bars have struggled to filter out bigger rocks. There's hardly any pay getting into the grizzlies. The thing's slam packed. Making it impossible to regulate the flow of pay dirt to the wash plant. So that's that's a, kind of a concern. We got to figure something else different. We'll go slow. We can run slower. Okay. You know. Cool. I'll go fire up the pump. That'll work. Thanks, Dave. You're welcome. All right, guys. I'm gonna fire up the plant. At a slower speed, the roach will process 30% less dirt, meaning it will take almost a third longer to recover Box Creek's gold. All right, Jesse. All right. Ready to go? Yeah, I'm excited. Truck should be there Saturday. OK. We can get it loaded up. Should be here Monday, and we uh, should up the production. Right on. All right, drive Great. safe. OK. All right. Get some gold while I'm gone. I will. All right. Montana or bust. We'll make it through this. This is a tough team, man. We're a small group of people, and now we're even smaller with Jesse being gone. It's five of us. You know, hot weather sucks, you know, and we really don't need that right now. I don't really give a how hot it is. We got to mine it. And I'm just trying to push all this material. I know there's good gold below me, so it keeps me motivated. In summer, Temperatures at Box Creek soar to almost 100 degrees, causing water sources to evaporate. We're out of water, pretty much high and dry. You know, our pond just ran dry. You know, Box Creek runs under the ground through here. And when the snow starts melting off the mountain, we get more, you know, water. But right now, there's no snow on the mountains. So we ran low on water. And the problem with low water is these little riffles fill up with black sand. And what happens is there's no place for that piece of gold to fall. In fact, you can see a little piece of gold right there. It's going to skip over here. It still doesn't have a place to fall. And it's going to surf all the way down into our pond. We lose gold. Sluice box just not working. We're going to come up with something different. We can pull some recycle water out. We can do it either way. This is what I suggest to do. Run it till she gets low, fire that one up. I'd rather have. You want to merge them? Merge them. Dave plans to increase their water supply by taking recycled water from their tailings pond and pumping it 50 yards to a T junction, where it will be mixed with fresh water from their intake pond. In theory, it should boost the amount of water going through the wash plant. So why don't I go get another pump? Let's send Casey for some hoses, see if we can tee that in. So we go 70% fresh water, 30% recycled water. It's fun. And see if that works. We got a choice. OK. Next morning, Casey returns with the parts. Whew, that was a long drive, brother. Long ass drive. Beautiful, aren't they? This will equal more gold in our pockets. Come on back a little bit. Now Dave and Jason can install their backup water pump to draw water from the tailings pond and beat the water shortage. This will give us all the water we need for complete runs. It's going to be ideal. So we're going to have a fresh water coming in here. And it's going to go right through here. Our dirty water is going to come in here, and we're going to try to run 30%, 70%. We'll see how it does. And uh, don't know how it's going to work. You know, it's the first time we ever had to do this. So it's a uh, trial and error. 
We're tightening down the valve, hopefully get tied into our clean system so we can run, you know? Like right now, we shut down, it's one o'clock. That's not gonna work out. You know, we gotta do something different. Let's get on it. Yeah, there you go. Okay, we're good. All right, Chris, uh, turn the pump on. Let's get some recycled water up here. I got it. Here we come. She's coming, Chris. Yeah, Chris. We got good water to the sluice. Woo! Run some dirt. Run some dirt. Start this job! Put some rocks in the box, boys. Hell yeah! Water problem solved. It looks good, Dave. It looks really good. Oh. Nathan, Nate, they had some sort of a blowout on a pipe. I'm heading to the top now, but uh. Cut the water, cut the water. Clamps came off, clamps weren't tied enough. Team Turin's plan to feed the plant with a mixture of fresh and recycled water is a bust. Oh, Dave. We blew a hose out. There's too much pressure between the two pumps. We're trying to run the main water into a T, and it's, I think there's too much back pressure, and we can't hold our hose on there. The team must find a way to recycle water and keep the roach in production. So somehow I need to get water in here before the end of the day. So let's just do something temporarily. So let's use that cheap hose for now. Cheap And throw it in there. I think that's the best way to do it. Stir. Now Dave and Nathan plan to bypass the burst T-junction and feed the tailings water through the roach's spray bars and the clean water directly into the wash box. Here's my fresh water. We're just gonna put it straight through and dump it into the wash box. It'll be a temporary fix, but it'll get us back up and then we'll fix it later. We got some of this discharge hose. It ain't made for pressure, but what we're doing up there is not any much pressure. So it's a win-win. We'll ratchet strap it down and it'll just spray in the back.